Today is August 3rd. We're going to be making some blackberry syrup, which my granddaughter is going to be so excited about. And then at the end, I'll show you what I do with the pulp. I am not composting it. I'm making it into something else. So we'll get two products with one food. I need about six cups of blackberries and I want them ripe. So the berries are picked. I'm just washing them so I can put them in a pot onto the stove so that they can come to a boil. I'm adding two cups of sugar. If you make half a batch, use half the sugar. And two tablespoons of lemon. I'm just squeezing this whole half in. Stir it all in. It's coming to a boil and I'm gonna want it to boil for two minutes. I will stir it a couple times also. Okay, my timer went off, so I'm gonna turn it off now. You could use this as is. It's full of berries. So if you like the chunks of berries, this is just how you're gonna want it. You could also put it through a blender or a Vitamix. It would still have some of the seeds, but it would be a lot smoother. I'm going to be using this to get all the seeds out. My dad and my granddaughter do not like the seeds and they probably won't eat it otherwise. Scoop up some of the solution. Pour it down into this. Make a mess. And the juice strains down below. You push on the pulp to strain out any extra juice. And I'm going to fill these small jelly jars and then store this in the freezer. You could store them just directly in your fridge. They'll last for a couple weeks, but I've made too much to use in a couple weeks. Even this size, I think, is really too much to thaw out at one time. We'll have to reserve it for a big family get-together so we can use it all up at once. Since it only stores for a couple weeks, I don't hardly ever eat pancakes, but my kids' kids do, so I guess it could go home with them. I'm left with this pulp, but you know I'm not going to just compost it, right? I'm going to make it into vinegar. So I'm just going to add it into this jar. You don't need to add sugar because there's already sugar in there. You don't actually have to add sugar anyways. I like you to give it a jump start. Squishes it all out the edges and leaves the seeds behind. Just fill them to the rim. Rim since they're going into the freezer. Liquids expand and I don't want the jars to crack. Back to the vinegar. You need to fill this up with water to make the vinegar. That is just stunning, it's so pretty. I add a snack size bag with water on top just to keep the fruit submerged. It's likely you'll have mold forming at the top if the fruit stays down under. Then a coffee filter on top, keep it in place with a rubber band. My, my apple vinegar, I'm gonna move this over. I will put the blackberry next to it. We'll leave videos down below to show the whole process of making vinegar if you're interested. I'm just gonna put them in the freezer now. Choose to and I have more time. I can go ahead and can them. 